Hello, hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to be installing a factory bed lighting kit for my 2021 Toyota Tacoma. Uh, from what I've seen, this is supposed to be a plug and play system. You don't have to cut into the factory wiring wiring harness. It just plugs right in with the, the harness that comes with this kit. Uh, my original thought was I wanted to put uh, LED lighting all along the, the strip, the bottom of the bed right there all along the sides all the way around but I've been kind of hesitant to do that because I didn't feel like splicing into the factory wiring so I've been putting it off and then I was talking to one of my co-workers and he mentioned that he has a 2020 Tacoma and when he bought his new at the dealership he added the the bed lighting kit and I was not aware of that kit uh, he said uh, he paid, it cost him like 200 bucks to add it on, and they did it right there at the dealership. So I looked into it, and I did find this kit right here, and it's supposed to be a plug-and-play kit. And they go right here on these little caps. There's one cap right here, one cap on the other side. You take those caps off, and, and the, the lights snap right in, and you put the wire harness through the, the the holes there but the only tool you really need is a 10 mil and a, and a wrench um, let's take a look in here I'm not sure if it's going to work for this car for this truck I mean because I don't know if it really is a plug and play for all the Tacomas so it comes with two harnesses one one side plugs into the lighting the other side plugs into there should be a, a harness over there and here are the, the the lights they just snap in they snap in there and then that's all you need to do I'm gonna do a simple uh, video here I'm only going to do one side because the other side's going to be the exact exact duplicate, so no need to show me doing two sides. But I will show you how to do this side. And like I said, the only thing you need is 10 mil, and you might need a, a flathead screwdriver to take these off. I don't know if I can pop it off with my fingers. No, nope. all you need is a 10, and then no pop off. So let me get my stuff ready and I'll get back to you in just a sec. All right, let's get started. Uh, the two tens that you take off, it's this one and it should be the bottom one, these two. Now I'm gonna use a power tool on mine. But you should be able to do this modification in like maybe 10 minutes. So now that you got this, make sure the the tail light is loose as you can see it is loose now the tricky part here is pulling this out because there's like two little ball tabs that go into these plastic clips and they they help hold the light in and if if it's the first time these lights coming out it's going to be pretty uh it's going to be pretty uh hard to pull out so what I, what I would do is underneath, you can get your fingers underneath and pull on it and kind of guide it on the top and try to pull straight forward as much as possible. Don't try to go sideways. You don't want to break anything. So I have it held on the bottom. Just, there you go. It's just a, don't, don't be afraid. It, it's going to be kind of scary, but... There's these little ball tabs right here that go into the back. And I do see the the harness back there that it plugs into. I will show you in a minute. So now the only thing you need is you get one of the lights. Uh, there is no left or right. They're just whichever side. Whichever side. They're both, they're, they're both the same. And then you grab one of the harnesses and 
leave this side only it, it can only go in one way so you go in there you clip it in and then if you can see on the bottom it has this little uh, tab this little lip this the lip part goes right here where the little cutout is on the bottom and then on the top it has like these two little fingers that have to go under under this plastic and you just go stick the top part in first flush and then just snap it in but I'm not gonna snap it in until I know everything works because once once this clips in this one's gonna be a little bit harder to pull out than those plastic pieces that were covering that hole so I would hold off until uh, you actually see it working that way you don't have to try to take it out and you might damage the, the light so what I would do is I just stick this in here and then if you push the, the wiring to guide the wiring harness down there's a hole on a big hole on the back over here that the, the harness will go through just I would just leave it like that for now and I will show you what it looks like over here so you can see there's the the hole I was talking about you just fish it down and you'll be able to pull the harness from here and then here's the plug it it goes into now we gotta take this off Let me get this plug out, this uh, clip. But so far all you do is just bring it through here and take this clip out. Let me get that clip. All right, I was able to pop up the pop off this uh, connector. Uh, all I did was just stick a, a little screwdriver in there and just kind of wiggle and pull. And then now uh, there's this connector it has a a little cover on there a cap uh, what you need to do is push on this tab on the back and then pull and it separates and that's just a weather protector to protect the, the factory harness from moisture and and uh, contaminants getting in there so here you got the the factory one there's that's the only plug that's in here so you can't mess this up and Here's the, the harness for the lights. It can only go in one way. So make sure you push it in and make sure you hear that clip. Once you hear the, the click, then it should be good. Now the harness that the lights came with has a, a clip here, a plastic holder clip. And it goes in that little hole right there. So just push that in there and that holds it in place and then this clip just put it back in the same exact spot that uh, the other one was in and that's it and that's all this install requires now before I pop this light and and the bed light back in let's see if it works Yep, that's the light. So it's a really quick, easy install. Once everything's in there, you can uh, put everything back together knowing that everything's working. And like I said, up here, the two little fingers go underneath the plastic, go flush. And once it's flush there, this bottom piece just snaps in. That's all there is to it. And then, if you want to put a little bit of uh, lubrication on the on the clip here and on the bottom, it'll make it easier to to reinstall. But you don't have to. Just line up line up that little finger right there to the plastic grommet. And then once it's lined up. push it that's it you put your two tens back in 
and that's all there is for this install. Now I got this at Toyota. The dealership sells them. That's the part number right there. PT8573500. If you go to the parts counter and ask for that part, they should be able to order it. When I did order it, the parts guy, uh, I guess he didn't know how this system works, but he was trying to sell me a, a relay and a switch, which is not necessary. If you give him this part number, everything comes included to make this, this work. Uh, before you go and order this, I'm not sure if all the Tacomas have this uh, uh, feature where you can add this onto it. I'm assuming if, like I said, if it has these caps, you can add them on. But I would probably, for a safe bet, I would take the tail light to make sure that harness is in there. If that harness is in there, then you're, you're good to go. Now, I did get this from Toyota. Uh, retail was $89. Uh, my wife works at a Toyota dealership, so she got employee discount and ended up costing $51 out the door. I did look around on eBay and Amazon, and I did see they do have these factory ones on there. And they're selling in around the $60, and $60 range, $60, $80 range. So if you do some shopping around, you can get a, a good bargain. So that's the install for this. Uh, later on, I will show what it looks like at night and see if it, uh, how bright it is. So I'll get back to you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, it's nighttime now, and this is what it uh, looks like. Uh, let me open up the trunk. That's what those lights look at, like at night. It's really bright actually in the daytime it didn't look that bright but at nighttime it's uh, pretty bright so if you can see back there everything looks uh, good I still think the LED light strip along here would have looked super bright but this this works I don't have to worry about the wiring the vehicles wiring everything so there you go, simple install.